Blender Market is having a sale. Let's go through and check out the add-ons that I recommend. Now, first off, if you're like me, you might have a ton of add-ons. Control F, clean panels add-on. So this is kind of like where you can separate all your add-ons into various categories. Let's start off with my materials. We've got Extreme PBR Combo, which for those of you who have joined me on the live stream would know I use this quite heavily. Even if I don't use the exact materials, I have all these textures already downloaded onto my computer that I can quickly um, like reference, take, steal. While we're in the material editor, I do have Machine, which has got Decal Machine. Very quickly create decals, videos below. But let's kind of just smash through all this. Let's go into environment. One of the add-ons that I use most would be Scatter 5, and we'll talk about Grass Blade in a sec, um, but here we can kind of select what kind of uh, grass we want to apply. Let's come down and select our biome, open biomes, reload, and you can see we've got a list of biomes we can choose from. Um, so many choices. Uh, rock plane, here we go. Let's select this one. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Close it and you can kind of see how it's been added. Let's just quickly go into rendered view. Let me set up some lighting. Let me just put a color on the cube. And with this one here, this is just one of the presets. A lot of little rocks in this one. Shift D, Y. I'm just gonna move that one off to the side. Let's open up another biome. Grass A. And we can see what the grasses look like. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, let's jump over into the next one. Shift D, Y. Now we've got Grass Blade here. This is based off the Scatter 5 add-on, just a whole bunch of different presets. I mean, we can go, we've got corn, uh, there's wheat somewhere. There it is, oh, oats, field of peppers and so on and so forth. So much more uh, variations on the Scatter 5 add-on. Obviously we're just applying it straight onto the cube. We haven't done any uh, other pre-work. Looking brilliant. But B Productions also has another one Let's go shift Y again <laughs> into B production. Here we've got a wonderful list of all our trees that, have, uh, that are available. And so this one is called the vegetation add-on. We've got rocks, we've got trees. We've just got a whole bunch of, uh, as, you, as you guessed it, veget vegetation. Uh, with the vegetation add-on, we can also animate these trees, which is pretty snazzy. Now another add-on you would have seen me use a little bit is the car teleport add-on. And so if we come in, let's select a car, I don't know, dodge, you, add car. And you can see just how nice of a car is spawned in uh, from here. Can we go into pose mode? We can't, we gotta click make editable, select pose mode. And then this is kind of like where we can play with the wheels and all this jazz. <laughs> We also do have the Polygon guys, where we've got the Botanica full, which is more um, tree assets. Uh, here we go. So for instance, something like this. Let's go, you. <laughs> and we do have a few options to obviously change the trees around. Um, that's another massive list of trees in here. Um, and you can change the various seasons as well. But just like the car teleport, let's go spawn Nasik on the Trafficker add-on uh does this have a toyota corolla because that's what i'm getting tomorrow nope oh, let's go an audi r8 and we'll spawn that car and you're a little bit far away buddy as you can see as well these cars are all pretty much scalable together once again these both have the car rig add-on uh so it's all fully adjustable as well Another great add-on is a city builder add-on. Um, at the moment, I've just got the Hong Kong assets enabled. So if I were to click on, let's go medium six, you can see how we can create buildings. Oh gosh, bring you back up. Scale is a little bit off. Let's make everything one, 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 one. And there we go. Now we've got a nice building that goes along with our cars and our trees and such. <laughs> I actually haven't done any updates in this add-on for a little bit, um, but we can see we've got industrial, Metropolitan, Soviet, Hong Kong, Derelict Future, Cyberpunk Clean, Medieval. And then it looks like we've got some procedural buildings as well. Warzone, mwah. I need to go back and check all this. Now using clean add-ons tool again, let's jump over into hard surface. And for this one, I will create a cube, subdivide that puppy a few times, and let's go to work. Let's go Shift D to the X and move you over. Let's just go into solid mode for now. 
Uh, we will look into Mark Kingsnorth plating generator space plating generate plates. And we can come up here. We've got a whole bunch of settings that we can affect. Um, I believe. And then you come in and we can change all the random sizes. Let's go 0 0.2. Whoa. 0 0.02. Uh, percentage, we will make 20. And you kind of see how this is creating uh, very simple paneling. However, if we come over into here and we use random flow, let's go, mm, we can go random panels. Uh, let's go subdivision cuts. And then playing with these settings, we can create something completely different. Uh, but this is random flow. Let's undo that one. Shift Q. And let's go loop extrude. Now this is only some of the features of random flow. And I'm just going to increase that. And we can see how we can just change all these settings. And it just creates something very unique. Base cut, I don't know, whatevs. Um, and that's a very, another very simple way of creating some awesome paneling. Um, and for those of you who do watch my live streams, if you don't, why not? Hit the subscribe button and notification to make sure that you know when I'm live. I'm going to be changing times, so hopefully I can hit more of you guys to come and see. Now, we do have an oldie, but a goldie, and that is kit ops. Uh, let, me, let me get my cube. Let me create another cube. Move that off to the side. Here with kit ops, um, I've already got a whole bunch of cutters. So for instance, if I select cutter and we select this, let's like, I don't know what, well, that one looks nice. Let's go add insert and then we can dump that one there. Right click, make sure we go auto smooth and you can kind of see how we can go ahead and just start adding a whole bunch of cutters everywhere. Add insert. Let's change it up to a different cutter. Uh, ooh, ooh, that one looks nice. That looks pretty suave. Control A, apply that scale, please. And let's remove all the visuals. Those cutters are a bad example. <laughs> I don't think those ones there are the official ones. Uh, let's jump into add insert. Nice. And we'll do another one. I mean, that looks so schmick. And just being able to dump these cutters on this piece just makes life so much easier. Uh, you would have seen me do a little bit of this on... Uh, the cockpit I was making a while back. Now the next one that I've picked up only recently, but I will start using it a bit more, is Gridler. Uh, thanks to the viewer on my live stream, which I can't remember right now. I think it was MTO Creations. Look, I finally got it and I played with it. And uh, yeah, it's uh, not bad. And then we can kind of create Boolean cuts very quickly. We can draw jazz. That's gonna become pretty powerful. And last but not least, Auto Rig Pro. I'm not going to go through this one because I've done it so many times before. Highly recommended if you're creating characters, making characters, and you want to quickly rig a character within Blender, you can do this. The biggest feature is this section in here where you can remap motion capture data and apply it to Blender characters. Oh my goodness, that is so important. Even if you're using AccuRig to auto rig your character and bring it in, this uh, remap function of AutoRig Pro, a must.